Imagine for a moment that everything around us, every sight, sound, and touch is part of a vast, intricate simulation. But hold on, it's not quite like being plugged into some sci-fi movie contraption. This is about our souls, our essence, right here on this earthly plane. It's about peering into the future, pondering what's on the horizon. Think of it, the emotions we feel, the connections we forge, all existing within a framework so advanced, it transcends our current understanding of technology and reality. We're not just talking about digital landscapes and cables and code. We're exploring the very fabric of existence and what it means to be human in a universe that might be more complex and interconnected than we ever imagined. Simulation theories spanning from ancient philosophy to modern technology suggest a reality might be an elaborate construct. Nick Bostrom's argument posits we're likely living in a computer simulation. Given the technological trajectory, towards creating indistinguishable virtual realities. This concept, popularized by The Matrix, imagines a world where reality is a simulation controlled by advanced entities, where the distinction between the virtual and the actual blurs, challenging our perceptions of existence and consciousness. Advances in quantum computing with their unprecedented computational power hint at the potential to simulate entire universes with intricate detail blurring the lines between the real and the virtual. This nuanced perspective is underscored by the fact that Google's quantum computer, Sycamore, achieved quantum supremacy in 2019 by performing a calculation in 200 seconds that would take the world's most powerful supercomputer 10,000 years to complete, illustrating the vast potential of quantum computing to transform our understanding of reality. Echoing these modern theories, the ancient Taoist philosopher Zhuangzi questioned reality's nature through his butterfly dream allegory, pondering if life is but a dream. Elon Musk further speculates that the advancements in video game technology suggest we're probably in a simulation, given the likelihood of future civilizations creating hyper-realistic simulations. As devices become more sophisticated, offering higher resolutions, more responsive tracking, and interactive environments, they not only enhance gaming and educational applications, but also fuel speculation about the nature of reality itself. It could create simulated realities that the inhabitants would not be able to differentiate from their base reality. Together, these theories challenge our perception of reality, inviting us to consider the possibility that our existence might be more complex and layered than it appears. Enter Neville Goddard's teachings in which we're invited to view our existence through a lens that blurs the lines between the mystical and the tangible, suggesting that our reality might closely resemble a grand simulation. This notion, while not framed in the context of modern digital simulations, aligns with a deeper philosophical quest to understand the essence of being and our role within it. At the heart of this journey is Goddard's symbolic readings of biblical narratives particularly the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. He views these not as literal historical occurrences, but as deep metaphors illuminating the nature of our existential simulation. This interpretation serves as a profound exploration of our inner potential and the transformative power of consciousness. It's within this allegorical framework that we find a seamless bridge connecting the teachings of Jesus to the concept of life as a simulation enriching Goddard's philosophy with a multi-dimensional perspective on existence. Goddard casts Jesus not merely as a figure from the past, but as the embodiment of our highest potential, the intersection of human and divine within us all. The stories of Jesus in Goddard's view transcend religious doctrine, serving instead as guides for realizing our power to shape reality. This power is symbolized through the narrative of Golgotha, traditionally seen as the site of Jesus' crucifixion.